Hey, Dave here from Retired Time Productions, and I just got a nano camera and transmitter set in from RunCam, so let's take a look. So let's take a quick look at the RunCam nano camera and FPV video transmitter, 5.8 gigahertz. So let's look at the camera first. RunCam sent me both of these at once. I assume they go as a set. So let's just get the camera out of the box and see what we have. This is a first look for me. So just a very tiny FPV camera, as you can see. And it's got three wires coming out. Voltage, ground, and video. There we go. Let's just see what the specs are on it. So there it is. It's 3.3 to 5.5 volts. So this is a one cell LiPo type camera. That would be the voltage you to put on it. It's a 2.1 millimeter. Field of view is 160. That's on the lens there. And it's 650 TV line. One third inch CMOS sensor. And there is the part number at the bottom. It's a Nano L21N. Okay, let's take a look at the video transmitter. There we go. Here's the transmitter right here. It's a very tiny 5.8 gigahertz antenna. And it looks like with a little dipole type antenna on it right there. And I assume these two hook together. Let's see if the camera will plug on to here. Looks like it possibly will. Yeah, this plugs right on. The transmitter also came with this package of standoffs. And there's some holes on the transmitter board, so you might be able to mount it on a mini quad using these standoffs. And then there's a little adapter cable if you wanted to use it with a different camera perhaps. Alright, let's look at the specs on that transmitter. So here it is. It's again 3.5 to 5 volts, same as the camera. And the frequency is 5848 channel, 25 milliwatts or 200 milliwatts. So it looks like it's selectable. It has a little button right here to change the different features on it. Probably you can change the frequency, the band, and maybe the milliwatts, because it did look like it was 25 or 200. I don't see any directions in the box. So I'll have to look on the site and just see how to change the power on this. So the TX200 actually has a row of LEDs on it right here to tell you what band you're on. And I actually was on band 4 right here with channel 7 so it was 5860 which is a fat shark frequency and if you want to change the power you can long press the button for five seconds to switch the power level between 200 and 25 milliwatts I believe mine was on 25 milliwatts but let's go out and fly it I'll use the Champ S Plus small high wing plane just to check it out and see what it looks like so I've mounted the camera to a little piece of plastic with some Velcro on the bottom right here so I can stick it down to the Champ S Plus. Now this piece of plastic is actually a divider from a parts bin. I've got a parts bin that came with a whole bunch of these little plastic dividers and I've been using those to mount cameras on so I can put it on the plane. But there it is right there. It's ready to go. So I'll show you what it looks like on the plane first and then we'll go fly it. So here's the nano cam and transmitter, Velcro to the top of the Champ S Plus. And you can see I just connected it right here with the plug that came with it to the 5 volts output from the plane. Now keep in mind I do have a 5 volt regulator inside this plane because this is a two cell plane. So I had to knock the voltage down to 5 volts with a tiny regulator that's under here. So here we are at midday in the winter. The sun's about as high as it gets during the winter. And you can see the camera is handling the light very well. It has a good picture considering how small the camera is. You can 
probably see me standing on the ground down below. Right in front of the plane there. There I am. Okay. So that was a good test. Very good. Now, let's go to sunset. This is when the sun's really low. A lot of dark shadows. Sun's glaring right into the lens, but I can still see the ground. It's flyable, anyway. The shadows don't be... don't seem to be causing too much trouble. Okay, so it worked pretty well. If you have any questions, just leave them under the video. This is a RunCam product that's coming up soon. It'll be on their website.